Yes, G. You good? You good? You good G? Yes, brother. Good. So, if you're not aware, this is Talking Techers, where I basically talk about the origins of your techers as well as other stuff. Okay, it's yeah. a load of stuff we're talking oh, about, though. Cool, you know cool. what I mean? But you Easy. good? Yeah, no, I'm good. You. Obviously, it's, it's raining a little bit. A um, a long shot. You've had a bit of a different upbringing. When I say that, a lot of the players I've spoke to on Talking Techers, they've come from like footballing cities, I would say, like yeah, yeah. London or Birmingham, Manchester. Okay. You started in Exeter. Exeter, yeah. Exeter. How, how is that? What's the take on football, meaning the youth teams and um, the Sunday teams? Is it, do they love it? or? I mean, Sunday teams is like anywhere. Okay. Everyone loves it. The youth team at Exeter was good. The youth academy used to get a bigger name. So uh, we used to play like the bigger teams. Who do, you, who do you play when you're at Exeter youth team then? We were in the Cat 3, so we played like Swindon, Yeovil, okay. sort of teams like that around our area. But like pre-season we'll go to play Man United yes. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't always win, but we'd always sort of try and compete. Mm -hmm. Which uh, was showing that our academy was improving. And then when I sort of made my debut, the academy was getting big and well known. Mm -hmm. So uh, they always had a big focus on the youth academy as well. So if someone would go on, then they'd sort of put the money back into the youth. What age did you start playing Sunday League? I joined Exeter before I went to Sunday League. Oh, is it? So that was your yeah. first team? Yeah, okay. I went, I think when I was six, turning seven. And then the year after, I joined a, a local team just to obviously to play mm -hmm. more games because when you're that age, you sort of just want to play, play local football. football so, yeah, yeah. so yeah, I then I joined after. I was with my local team and Exa. I then didn't try my looking, but played the games. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's 11, you had to stop playing for the local team and then just be a vet. I so. hated that. So yeah. that come into, so I'm not sure if you know this, but <laughs> I used to play football a little bit. But when I was younger, yeah. you could play for Sunday League and you could play for your, your pro team. Yeah. When they stopped that, it literally upset me so much because I'd go to play for, I was at QPR at the time, and I'd go and play for QPR, and I'd be a little bit nervous. Yeah, no. But then when I would come back to my Sunday team, it was like I was the man. And <laughs> when I stopped being the man, and it was every week just nerves, it was like, oh man, I can't different, let go, you know what I mean? Different life, yeah, yeah. then. The reason you was in Exeter is because your dad played for Exeter, Dad right? played for Exeter, and then I was born there, so I grew up there. Kwame Ampadu, I used to play. He was in the first team when I was a youth player at Leighton Orient. Did you improve quick, or was it something that straight away, as soon as you touched uh, the ball, you were sick? I was always tall for my age, so I think that obviously helped as well. Cause yeah, because you're tall now, Especially when you're, uh, when you're young, they don't normally play the small ones up because of mm -hmm. physicality, so maybe that has something to do with it as well, but uh, yeah, it's also always play up age. People. Who did you look up to, style of play-wise? Um, Chelsea fan, so you'd like because I was playing centre back sometimes. Look at John Terry and the way he defended. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer Ramos. centre back or centre mid? Know, I'm not really fussed. Okay, either, either or. I like you in centre mid. Yeah, I really like you in centre mid. Appreciate it. Sergio Ramos, I like just because he's clever as well. Like it's just something that attracts me. Like I like it because he just wants to win. Yeah, yeah. And obviously that's what I want to do. You just want to win yeah. games. So uh, he's a winner. Obviously, I want to be a winner. So Are you a, a bad loser. Yeah, so let's just say, yeah, don't, like to, don't really speak to me, no one. Uh, you can tell if I've lost. How about normal games then? Football you're passionate about, I know, I know this, right? Yeah. But how about normal games then? So when you're away from footy, Monopoly, FIFA, is it? The same, yeah. Like, I don't know if I strop, but you'll be able to tell that I lost. Like, there's definitely a change in me, I'd say. But uh, yeah, no one likes to lose. Do you like to lose? I ain't done it much, to be fair, <laughs> even. Um, I'm still a bit of a a hole. <laughs> when it comes to losing, I've yeah. thrown a few Monopoly boards about and whatnot. Oh, I broke a few controllers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is bad. If I, a few controllers. If you take that out of you, you lose a bit of yourself, bro. Like yeah, that's true, of course. You know I mean, that's passion, true. passion. Um, so away from football, still, what do you do spare time? What are you into? Golf, sort of getting into golf a bit more. Oh, so of course, now. Nah. No. You any good? Nah, not really. So you're a young boy, in in and around the first team. Is that like a necessity that you have to be able to play golf? No, but it's something that a lot of people do though, don't you think? So yeah. uh, it's a sort of a way to connect off the pitch with some players as well. But uh, I like it because you go with your friends, no yeah, phones, yeah. and you're just out yes. there for like four or five hours and you just, just chill, it's peaceful. They say in the golf, you don't take your phones. How good is it without a phone? No, it's good. I, but also I can't be here because I'm, I'm on my phone quite a lot, mm. so I can't say I'm not. But then when you think about it, you don't do much on the phone. Like you're just scrolling through, looking at nothing. Right. Sometimes you look at the same thing, yeah. so I don't know, it's something that you want to stop doing, but like I said, now it's the era, everyone's sort of on their phone, so yeah. We get to the stage where we're saying we want to stop things, or <laughs> like, I just think it's... We, we just don't do it. Yeah, we've got to continue with it. What yeah. the sort of things do you look at on the phone then? What's, what's, what are you into? I don't know, you look at through Instagram, look at Twitter, speech of friends. Heard of Steve-O the Madman? Nah. No? Nah. Nah. Uh, what music are you into? 
since moving that to, to the Germany, uh, there's an American boy, and he's got me onto Chris Brown. I know Chris Brown's had his done his bits, but now I'm really whoa, onto whoa, Chris whoa. Brown. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just got onto Chris Breezy. Nah, I knew he. He's having a I testimonial he, soon. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he had his bits, but mm -hmm. now I really know that. What's the latest album you've downloaded? Uh, Do you buy albums anymore? Nah, you download them, don't you? you download <laughs> What's the latest one you're on? D Block, maybe. My yep. roommate here has listened to a bit of D Block, so I think just downloaded that. I had to ban my children from listening to them. Yeah. I listen to them. Just not around the kids. Wow, well, Ads was the saying some <laughs> stuff. I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, you just said that, Leah. You're, you're grounded. It's a great tune, though. Like, you're grounded now. You into your movies? Uh, no, yeah. Any recommendations for me? I don't know. Lately, I've been on to musicals or the musical sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, it's like Aladdin. Yes. Seen a new Aladdin? Oh. Yeah, the new but one, not the old one. Oh, the new right. one. I you said, like the new Aladdin, one. like he went my bread, you mate. Me and him <laughs> is on the market doing our like, thing, bro. Yeah, Aladdin, I haven't seen the new, new one Aladdin's yet. Though. good, but yeah, no. I think because you have so much free time, you just watch any film, mm -hmm. don't you? Like it's like same as series. You start watching any series yeah. and stuff like that. So uh, I don't even really mind to watch anything as long as it's good. What's wrong with that. Um, back to footy. I made your debut at Exeter. Yeah. Fifteen years old. Yeah. Um, how many games did you end up playing there? Uh, I think for like, season, like thirteen. I think twelve, okay. thirteen. Did you feel, like even now, do you feel like you've made, I think, my research tells me, around nine, ten appearances for Wales? Yeah, around, around nine, that. around eight. Um, how do you feel in the level of where, where you're at now of your progress? Still got a long, long way to go, mm -hmm. I feel like. Um, still got a lot of mistakes to make, because that's the only way you improve. Mm -hmm. Definitely once I've made it yet. What would an ideal season be for you this year? Sort of, obviously, get into the team's first thing, put sort of, Put my stamp on the team, mm -hmm. sort of show show ways where I sort of maybe don't have to go on another loan. I can go back to Chelsea and hopefully play more minutes there. Mm -hmm. which, the aim is what I want to do. So obviously I know not every time it goes like that, but at the moment it's just to train well, improve, get in the team, and hopefully that can cover sort of next year and a few next few years. Best player then, best player regardless who you've played against. I've played against. Um, Toughest and then best. Ericsson's the toughest. Okay. Because I came up, because we both, I started in that game mm -hmm. and so he started and I was holding the field and he's like in the 10 position. So so I've kind of been doing one, one against one. So uh, yeah, he taught me a few things that day that I learned from. Um, but I think the best player, I think Modric. Okay. I think I come on against Croatia, Modric was playing. But when you don't come on, it's different because it was a hot day. He was, mm -hmm. So it's a different sort of uh, style, but to start a game, Ericsson coming up against him 1v1. I watched a, um, a Gerard and Rio interview, and he was saying that a lot of these players, so for instance, he said he mentioned Keane, Vieira, and he said he had watched them, and he would like literally take bits of their game. You shouldn't focus on trying to be like one person, because then that's not you. Yeah. But uh, definitely picking out little bits can help you help you improve. So I'll say uh, I try to do that. I try to do that, yeah. So, Chelsea, you want to get back into Chelsea's team. Yeah. Uh, tough question. How far do you think you are yeah. away from that team now? Obviously, as it'll come of age, physically stronger to be able to compete sort of in the Premier League. Has it been hard? Uh, do you find it hard or is it... I heard so that again... Got trying to find ways around it, so like... Move the ball quicker or... Move the ball quicker. You asked me earlier if, I was, if I'm quick. I'm not quick, as quick as I was when I was younger. I used to, um, so you've got to find where's the deal. If you come up against a great striker, maybe you give yourself a yard yeah. or you sort of read the guy on the ball, see if he's playing it behind, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, still got improvements to do, but that's what I'm trying to mm -hmm. aim to do this year. So hopefully I can go back in next year, especially with the positivity that's going on around Chelsea at the moment with the young players playing. Obviously it gives, gives you a good feeling about yourself. Does that actually give, so like when you do see the likes of Tammy and Mason and these yeah. guys in the team, does that make you think, right, oh, okay, like they're, they're now, yeah giving people the chance, it's down to me to train, to, to make myself whatever yeah. into the player that they need. Is that, do you think like that is a um, realistic thought? No, it's a realistic thought, but even when last year or the year before, recent years when it wasn't supposed that they play young players, you'd always sort of want to be that one to do it, but because it's sort of around your age and who you mix with a little bit, you like to see each other do well. So. Yeah, of course you want to be on the pitch and they're good players. So. What's it like with this Welsh team? There's a cut, uh, like, it feels like it's a real good bunch, young, get on. Yeah. Like, am I yeah, right in thinking that? Yeah, there's quite a few young, younger players here as well. So it's the same thing that I was talking about with Chelsea, where mm -hmm. you want each other to do well. But even the, the senior players are good. Yeah. They, it's a real good feel-good factor. Like, everyone's together. Mate, I was standing in there 
and Ryan Giggs walks up to us like, yeah. I was like, was Giggsy, what like, yeah. is that what he's like? Cause he seems like he, cause he's a legend. Like in my yeah. eyes, like sometimes when you're that much of a legend, you can get away with not having to go and say hello to someone. If, if they, but you come around and shook everyone's hand, all the camera people, yeah. like. That's just one example that shows <laughs> that he's, he's a good guy. And um, he's put a lot of faith in the youngsters as well. I've had quite a few opportunities. So that gives you sort of, a level of confidence mm -hmm. sort of and a thing that you want to give back to him and that you want to play well and see to win the games as well so it was um because i know a few of the welsh players a few silly buggers if you <laughs> can say that but who's the sort of uh the joker of the pack i don't know is it someone surprising wayne hennessy and gareth bell they like to have a joke is it it's like it's, it's not so much pranks mm -hmm. but like have a good joke and a laugh um Ravi, He's a little rabbit, yeah. yeah. He's in Ge so how far yeah. is he from you in Germany? Not too close. Far. I think yeah. I think Leipzig's not really close to anything. Okay. How is it? <laughs> don't know the jog field, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, no, I see him behind him, Jenny's good. Been with him in the 2000 squads, roommate, yes. so uh, he's always loud, isn't he, Rabbi? So, yeah. yeah, he's, he's, a, good guy. Kid, he's yeah. a good guy. But brother, man, I, I wish you the best in Appreciate your future. I I'll definitely be watching, as I said to you earlier, I'm trying to grow my dreads as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> Started off with little plaques, but yeah, bro. Honestly, oh, I appreciate it. Wish you Thank the best, you. brother. Nice it. One. Obviously, if you've enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, all of that. <laughs>